everybody. How are you today? This is Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, and I am here for the third installment of our collaboration between Gina B. Aaron's Design and Shannon Green's di um, <laughs> Digitized, my goodness, and Shannon Green's Custom Keepers, and we're going to be using um, the Digi Downloads that are available over in over in Gina's Etsy shop. So let me get a few things together and we'll get started. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a couple of things out here. Uh, I have some tissue paper. And I have two pieces of um, eight and a half by 11 computer paper. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this down and I think I've shown you uh, how to do this before on with tissue paper and this is just standard tissue paper that I bought at the um, at Walmart and it's the tissue paper that you use to buy like to wrap a gift in or stuff in a gift bag. One side is um, not as shiny. One side has is kind of a shiny side. The other one's kind of a, a matte, not fuzzy, but it looks like it would absorb ink easier than this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down um, so, so that it fits on this paper. And what I'll do is I'll fold this over and tape it in the bottom and I'll cut the sides off and tape it all so it doesn't move. And I have two images that I'm going to print off um, that I want as um, my digital images that I'm going to be, that I have downloaded off of Gina's Etsy shop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put it through the printer and I'll be back as soon as that's done. All right, I have already printed these out and I cut them off the paper. Um, but before I cut them off, actually, I ran outside real quick and I sprayed them down with the Mod Podge um, clear acrylic sealer in a mat because I wanted the mat. Uh, it seems to go down a lot easier on paper with the mat. Just my opinion. My just my opinion. Um, so anyway, the great thing about cutting, or about printing the words out on the tissue is that I can take my water brush and I can, you know, um, pull these off using that, and they will blend into the background. And the same with my little birdie that I printed out. So I need to prep the surface that these are going to go on to. And um, I'll be back. All right. I have three different colors of paint out here. I have a teal, a yellow, and a green. I'm getting some art guard here to put on my hands because acrylic paint will tear up your hands faster than anything. So I just want to get this on here. And boy, I'll tell you, my timing is just off today. I actually had to stop filming because my granddaughter was downstairs screaming at the top of her lungs. Grandpa is in charge of the babies today. So, um, yeah, we have family staying with us um, for the past two weeks while they're waiting for their house to become available. So, yeah, needless to say, it's been a bit of a mess. But, okay, so, you know, if anything could go wrong, it would. It did. And it has. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is I want to try and radiate my colors from blue, yellow to green. But I'm just going to go very lightly. I have not gessoed um, these pages just because I didn't want to. So I'm just going to give it a light. I'm going to go light on this. And I will probably lighten it up with some white at some point as well. I don't know. We'll see how well this all blends together. Sometimes I surprise myself and it all turns out really nice. And sometimes uh, not so nice. That's okay. So let's just start blending right here. 
rub it a little bit. Oh yeah. That turned out kind of cool. Yeah. See how nice that's turned how nice that's blending out there? I like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this green. This kind of a limey green, which is perfect. That'll blend in nicely right there. Wonderful. Wonderful. There's a little bit more yellow here. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I use, I love to use sponges. And um, I do go through them. Um, I probably waste them, but they're inexpensive and I like them. So that's kind of my take on things, right? Now I'm going to blend this out a little bit more here and a little bit more up here. I just like to play with it. That turned out pretty cool. I'll take my blue again. It's all just a matter of playing with it until you get the right match of how you like it. And now I can take this and just blend that. See how nice that just blends into each other. Yep, I'm liking it. More green, just a tad. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I can bring you in a little closer if I need to. But I think it's pretty self explanatory. See that? I just kind of use circular strokes, um, no rhyme or reason to it. It's just how I like it. That turned out kind of cool, didn't it? If I do say so myself. And I have a stray piece of, oh, that's right, I'll clean that up later. All right, I'm going to give this a quick dry. And I have something else. Be right back. Hi there. Camera seems to be shutting down on me. And there's a little bit of a lag, which I don't like. Okay, this is all nice and dried, and I think it looks fabulous. And what I'm going to do is make a mess. Oh, jeez, really? The dog. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, now that I've yelled properly. Mm -hmm. If there is such a thing. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this blue paint and just drop it onto here using my fan brush. And with my mini misters, I'm going to add some water because I really want to make a mess. So I'm just going to take this. It's going to make a real mess. Okay. That's all I really wanted on there. Put that away. And I'm going to dry this up and I'll be right back. Okay. This is dried up nicely. I'll bring it up for you to see. Turned out very, very nice. Love that. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to see how my bird is going to fit on here. He is going to, oh yeah, he's going to look nice on there. I actually want to bring him all the way over to the edge so that he's hanging off there. So I'm just going to kind of 
take my finger and make a crease in this. Then mm, I wanted to take my water brush. Right, what did I do with it? My gosh, I've got things all over my desk here. And this is the thick one. I don't want my thick one. My one is a little bit thinner. Oh, that's still too thick. For me, the thinner the brush, the more precise I can be. And of course, it's out of water. So I'll be right back. All right, I got some water in my brush. I'm just going to go across here like this. that will allow me to tear this. Well, it should. There we go. Bring this up here. The part of it is, is that I have sealed it. So you can see some of the water is sitting on the edge. I have to, to kind of pull it with your fingernail to let it sink in there. Now I'm going to come back. Let's see, just where do I want my bird to be? Well, I kind of knew, but I'm just going to... Boy, that sealer is really sealing. It really sealed this. Usually I can get the water to penetrate this, even though it's been sealed. All right, I'm going to have to fussy cut this out, and I'll be back. All right, everything is dry. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Some matte medium. I'm using the uh, Simply Acrylic uh, Matte Medium by Dale Arani. And as I have said in previous videos, um, this particular brand of matte medium is uh, very difficult to find. I have a feeling that they do not, um, they're not making this anymore. I'm not sure why. It was a very good price and at a very, um, I like this product a lot. All right, so I'm just going to lay this down. And then I'm going to say to you, all you moms out there of small children, I do not know how you do what you do <laughs> with small children around. I have been trying, I have had to literally stop this video camera probably um, four or five times. And uh, threaten harm <laughs> to get them to please be quiet because I'm working. I have students at school that are better behaved. All right. We got that down there. Oh, shoot. Doesn't he look nice there? He's beautiful. All right. And then up here. Always do your best. And then here, I'm going to put 
Listen to your heart. And let your soul fly free. Now, the great thing about getting a digital download from Gina's Etsy store is that you can download it not just once, not just twice, but as many times as you want. Um, as many times as you want. So that means you can use it over and over and over again. And like this little birdie here, or these little or these words here, um, you can just use them over and over and over again um, for many different projects, many, many different projects. So I am going to grab some wipes here because I've got some matte medium all over the place here. Whoop. Without sticking my fingers in anything, pretty much we're just going to pat out any wrinkles that I see. Normally I would take a credit card, but because this is such a delicate uh, piece of uh, like tissue, I'm just going to kind of gently go over it with my finger. Just like this, this. Okay, let me give this a little bit of a dry and I'll be right back. And then I'm just going to take a gel pen. I'm just going to scribble around my sentiments. Bring you in just a little bit. But there should be a coupon code in the description below for the custom keepers as well as for Gina's Etsy store. And just to let you know too, so you're not like shocked, um, Gina is in the process of moving. So a lot of her, um, like her, uh, her stamps and things like that are going to be, are being pulled right now because she can't ship them because she's going to be out of, she's moving. <laughs> so she can't fulfill those orders. But that's the nice thing about digital, digital is because you just download it right from her Etsy shop. And boom, you know, there you go. You've got whatever you need. And she's got a wonderful, um, array of fun stuff in that Etsy shop. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to do a border here. A little scribbly scratch border. Paint still just a touch wet, even though I hit it with the heat gun. So oh, it's making my pen not <laughs> want to stay too well. That's okay. It's all good. There we go. So here is my page using um, Digi's 
from Gina's Etsy store. Um, always do your best. Listen to your heart and let your soul fly free. And that is from in my uh, custom keeper that I created from Shannon Green. It was a piece of vinyl. And look at the beautiful things we can make in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this process as much as I did. Uh, please be sure to stop by Gina's Etsy shop. Um, pick up some, some, digi, some digi prints that you can use over and over and over again, which makes them extremely economical. And they're also extremely reasonably priced. And please be sure to stop by uh, Shannon Green's Etsy shop. And... Um, Buy some of our custom keepers and make sure you get over there pretty quickly because it seems whenever we do a collaboration um, with Shannon um, for her custom keepers, um, she sells out of them very quickly. So I would suggest you get over there pretty right fast and uh, get, get, you some, get yourself a, a custom keeper. They're fantastic and they sell out quickly. So I know she has them in her shop, so take a stop on by. And have a great day. And the most important thing, I'm going to move you out a little bit here. The most important thing I want to say to you is, especially in these times, um, be nice to each other. Because there's really no excuse not to be. And if you don't have anything nice to say, then just don't say anything at all. Um, that's kind of a golden rule. Unfortunately, some people seem to have forgotten that. So enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my process. Don't forget to uh, check out the links of the other gals on Gina's design team who have also collaborated on this. Their links for their videos will be in the description below. Um, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Um, and have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.